Yo, what's up? What's going on? It's your boy here, Ryan Rap Beats. How's everybody doing? Today's a quick video. This is just showing you guys how to apply DTF on garments. Let's get it. All right, guys. I know you guys have been asking me, hey, what's the temperature and how many seconds do we have to... Uh, set for applying DTF to garments. All right, then we do have some transfers here from printed merch, printed merch. So I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to apply these. All right. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and turn this thing on. So I'll let you guys know, um, from now on, you guys are gonna get something called a warm peel slash cold peel. So for this set of films, it's gonna be a warm peel. So we're gonna set this thing to Let's see here at 280. So let's go ahead and turn this thing down to 280, 280, there it is. And for 15 seconds, whoop, I went all the way down, 15 seconds. All right, so I know you guys are asking, we don't have this type of heat press. You can do this on a regular heat press. You can do this on your um, your Hotronics. You can do this on your Heat Press Nation Press. The only thing we do not recommend is using one of those iron-on uh, type of presses, like the Cricut iron-on, the handheld ones. Um, we do not um, suggest those because it needs good pressure uh, for you to be pushing down on it. It doesn't give you the the that right pressure to um, to adhere to the shirt. So. So as far as the pressure goes, um, we want it to be a medium to firm pressure. We don't want any light pressure. With DTFs, you want it to be very close to a firm pressure. So if you guys are using something like this, you want this set at 90 PSI. Um, this is a, um, a pneumatic heat press, so 90 PSI is your key here. Okay, so as far as the garments, this is what we're gonna be using today. We have this next level, I think, I can't remember what, what number this is. Um, it could be the 3100 or 3001 or something like that. But this is the 6040, so 60% cotton, 40% polyester. Um, the reason why uh, we wanna do this at 280 is if you do have a, something that's polyester, 280, 285 is where you wanna be. You don't wanna be more than 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so let's wait for this temperature and we can get pressing. All right, guys, we're almost at temp. You guys can see, let's move this aside. Let's go ahead and load our shirt in. If I can find it, there it is. All right. All right, if you guys are wondering, my press does have a Teflon sheet underneath here, already attached, so make sure you guys use a Teflon sheet. nice and warm let's go put it over here so you guys can see what i'm doing all right so we're gonna do a left chest here let's put it like right there find our center mark where's my center mark right there okay see that line going across that's where we want our left chest to be all right let's go ahead and press it Again, 15 seconds. Okay, let's move this aside. So while this thing is still here, just get a rag. Just to cool it down a little bit, I like to get a rag and just while I'm doing this, cooling down, I push down on it, have a little bit of pressure. That's just me, but you don't need it. So once again, it's warm peel. So we could just go here and just snatch it off. Now, uh, to really lock this in to the shirt, we want to do a second press. Same thing. Alright, 
that's it. Now let's go do the back. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, do our pre-press. Again, we're at 280 at 15 seconds. All right, let's get move this out of the way. Let's do the back. I think that's straight. Make sure we don't do it upside down. This is front of center. So I want to be, I like to have be four fingers down from the neck on the back. It's right there. Whoop, sorry guys, knocked the thing off. All right, so let's go ahead and scooch this thing over. Again, get a rag or if you have one of those cooling blocks that would be great so again this warm pill what you do is while I'm doing this I'm letting it cool just for a little bit okay then you could just snatch it right off and then we got our second press to lock it in If you guys are wondering, I got this press at, If you guys are wondering, I got this press at Printomize. There it is. Let me show you guys. Alright, so here it is. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see. Maybe you can see it over here. Um, yeah, you can see it right here. Actually, you can see it right here. If you guys look into closely right there, you can you can see the fibers through the print. You can see it kind of, the prints embedded within the fiber. Oops, sorry. Let me see, maybe I could do it on the bigger one. Yeah, here we go. Sometimes it's, it's a little bit difficult to see that. Yeah, so anyways, that's how you press um, these transfers, these DTF transfers using the, the printed merch um, DTF transfers. If you, um, doing cotton or even these half 50 50 cotton blends i mean you can go as as high as 305 or uh maybe even 310 um, it's not gonna hurt it but though if for those of you are doing polyester you could just set it at 280 285 the most um i highly recommend 285 it's not really gonna be a big difference but um you know it's the pressure make sure you guys got good pressure on it and that's it it's just direct to film transfers uh, if you guys haven't figured it out right now is my company is printed merch i sell these transfers and i could press them for you if need be but i do sell just the transfers itself sorry guys something just went in my eye um the you guys are wondering the website is we're still working on the website at the moment but i wanted to get this video out out to you guys so you guys are aware of what's going on um website launch is looking like the the first friday of may which is i believe the fifth which is cinco de mayo um so be on lookout for that it's printedmerch.biz i'll put it in the, the description below uh printedmerch.biz yeah so from from this day forward uh you guys are gonna get um transfers that's cold peel and warm peel it doesn't really matter um but you have that option um, some of you guys don't feel uh, very confident doing the warm peel. You could definitely do a cold peel. Um, polyester is definitely going to be a 280, maybe 285 the most as far as the temp goes. Um, but you could do both. It doesn't really matter. Um, but the 305, 310 on on full cotton shirts will work. Will work also. But you guys have that option. Um, usually, I just keep mine, my um, my heat press temp at 300 degrees. And it, to me, it doesn't really matter. So the most I've gone with 100% polyester is 285, and it works flawlessly. It works just fine. 
just check, just do some tests. Um, usually what we'll, we'll send you is whatever items you ordered and then a couple just to do tests on. Just make sure that um, you guys test your garments before you go to full production. All right, so the biggest thing also is, will it last? Will it last? Yes, it will. Um, like I said, I've had garments or I'm sorry, DTF printed garments for over a year now. I'm up to about 30 washes and, and then some, so it's pretty good. Now, I don't usually do this, but I know you guys are gonna ask, does it stretch? Does it stretch? So let's find out, I'm gonna show you guys right now. So here it is. Again, it's, it's, I just pressed it just uh, a minute ago. So here's the stretch. There's the stretch. There's the stretch. Let's stretch it out a little more. There it goes. And it's definitely bouncing back. There's the stretch and there's the stretch. There it is, definitely on there. So um, we did have a conversation about this stretch test that we do, um, but there it is. With that said, I hope that answers some of your questions as far as um, application, how to apply these things. And yeah, leave a comment, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.